Hey beautiful soul, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a collective card reading for the week of November 14th in combination with a singing bowl meditation and some crystal infused Reiki energy healing. Beautiful soul, you can just relax and get comfortable. Let's go ahead and get started with a few deep breaths. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Beautiful soul, just relax. Just relax and let go and surrender to the flow. Just relax, let go and surrender to the flow. Releasing all negativity at this time. Letting it all go.
raising your vibration way, way up to that of love, gratitude, abundance, and joy. soul. I'm going to go ahead and get into the card reading and see what we have for this week of November 14th. Let's go ahead and see what we need to know for everyone's highest and greatest good. Trust the divine timing of things, beautiful soul. You're being called to let go and trust the universe. Let go and trust the divine. Trust the divine timing, sequence, and order of all things. We may not always get what we want when we want it in the timing that we want it. We must practice patience and this can be easier said than done sometimes. Just know if there's any delays or you've had to be very patient around a situation, person, place or thing, this is for your overall protection. Just remember any delays are divine delays meant for your overall protection. It says, the divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust the perfect and holy divine timing. So beautiful soul, once again, nothing comes before we are prepared, nor leaves too early. Everything is in divine order. Okay, so trust the process. Everything is unfolding exactly the way that it is supposed to in the exact timing that it's supposed to, even though it may not seem that way and it may be frustrating and you may have been waiting very patiently on something. Just know that everything is working out in your favor for your highest and greatest good and everything you need to know will be revealed to you exactly when you're supposed to have it revealed to you. Not a minute sooner, not a minute too late. Let's go ahead and see what else we have for this week of November 14th. What else do we need to know? Let's see. Feelings. Okay, beautiful soul. Some of you may have a lot of feelings coming up, a lot of uh, emotions around something from your past, okay? If you feel any intense emotions or feelings come up around something from your past, this could even be grief. Journal. Get out pen to paper and journal your feelings as a form of release. Get to a body of water, especially running water like a river or a creek, as this helps us to release and surrender these feelings and emotions that come up. And emotion simply stands for energy and motion, E, motion, energy in motion. So it's important that we channel these emotions as they come up through physical exercise, dance, physical movement of some kind. And it says emotions really want to be felt and you can't surrender something entirely until you deeply feel it. We must feel it in order to heal it. Okay, so offer all of your emotions to come up to the surface, to be acknowledged, felt with, and dealt with, and then to be released and let go of so they no longer hold you captive, beautiful soul. For suppression is depression. When we suppress and stuff our feelings for far too long, this can lead to depression. Okay, so it is so important that your feelings are acknowledged and expressed. Share with somebody whom you trust, okay, so that you can release them and get them out of you. I'm going to jump into the Oracle of the Unicorns, my favorite deck. It is so cute. I love unicorns. They are one of my spirit animals as they always appear to me exactly when I need to find them. <laughs> like if I'm in a store and I'm going through something intense, I'll just see like a stuffed unicorn, like a stuffed animal unicorn just sitting there in the aisle and it just cheers me up. Or I'll see somebody with a unicorn short or a unicorn shirt just walk right by me and it just totally cheers me up. And they've been popping up everywhere in the past few years. Ever since my spiritual awakening, unicorns have just been appearing everywhere. If you can identify with this, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you're also like obsessed with unicorns and love them, let me know because they are absolutely my favorite. I think they're awesome. And they're theorized to be seventh dimensional beings. So they're theorized to exist in the seventh dimension. It's just a theory. And I find that to be fascinating as I've always resonated with unicorns. 
Okay, leadership. So now is the time for some of you to take the lead. You weren't meant to follow, beautiful soul. You were meant to step up, stand out, and take the lead. It says, step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. Beautiful soul, don't be scared to speak up and share your truth, share your story. Where have you been in your life? What have you overcome? How did you get to where you are today? You may be being called to share your experience, strength, and hope with others and to step into a position of leadership, okay? And just being more bold and expressing yourself. And yes, this can be fearful and it can be uh, scary to, uh, to step out of our comfort zone and share with others or take the lead in a situation and be the first one to have that conversation. But you know what? It is so empowering. Now is a time, beautiful soul, to empower yourself. Stop following and take the lead. Do your own thing, okay? Do what brings you joy and makes you happy, even if it goes against the norm, because normal is boring, okay? You are meant to stand out and shine like a star, beautiful soul, okay? Don't allow anybody to dim your light ever. Don't allow anyone to dim your light ever, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have. Magic, okay. So make a wish, believe in miracles, and know that magic surrounds you, beautiful soul. Okay, believe in the magic of miracles. Believe in the magic of miracles and know that those who believe in miracles are those who experience more miracles in their lives. Beautiful soul, you are worthy of great things in your life, okay? I want you to repeat after me. With God, all things are possible. Miracles are happening now in my life and in this next new year to come of 2023. With God, all things are possible. Miracles are happening now in my life and in the new year to come of 2023. Beautiful soul, just know that anything is possible, okay? And there's always hope, so keep the faith. Keep the faith and allow the divine to do the impossible, okay? Miracles happen all the time. A lot of times we just don't see it, okay? Just know that anything is possible and everything that you truly need will come to you exactly when you are supposed to have it. Okay, so let go of any fear at this time and just trust that your angels are surrounding you and you are so loved and you are divinely protected and guided always so there's nothing to fear. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump into the spirit animal oracle and see what spirit animal messages we have. Okay, now is the time to empower yourself. Another message of empowerment. Panther Spirit says, reclaim your power. Now is the time to stop giving away your power to any people, places, or things that may no longer be serving you, who may be bogging you down energetically, who may be negative, who may be in a low vibration, who may be energy vampires. Okay, you don't have time for that beautiful soul. I don't either. We don't have time for that. It is so important that we surround ourselves with people who are of a high vibration, who support our dreams and our goals and our desires, who love us, who encourage us to keep continually pursuing our dreams and goals. Beautiful soul, if, if a person in your life who is in your everyday life is not helping you to evolve and grow, they are merely a distraction. So be sure that the people in your life that you're surrounding yourself with are people who love you unconditionally, who support your dreams and goals and encourage you to evolve and grow into your greatest version, beautiful soul. Now is the time to empower yourself. Empower yourself and know that all of the power lies within you, not outside of you, okay? All of the power, all of the answers are within you, beautiful soul, okay? That's why I say take what resonates and leave the rest because these are just messages from above, right? That are being channeled through me for a lot of people and some of it's gonna resonate with you and some of it may not and that's okay. Just really listen to your inner voice as to what is true for you versus what may not be true for you. Only you really know. You already know the answers. You already know, okay, which way to turn, which way to go. Okay, this is just merely reassurance as to what may be going on energetically in all of our lives. But beautiful soul, you have it within you too. Just know that, never doubt that. And dear spirit says, bring a gentle touch. 
I love this. I have been seeing deer everywhere lately and deer remind us to be more gentle and compassionate with ourselves and to stop being so hard on ourselves. So beautiful soul, stop being so hard on yourself. Go easier on yourself. I know you're doing an amazing job at life, so give yourself a pat on the back. Deer spirit is also encouraging a more plant-based diet, more high vibrational foods, okay, more alkaline diet. Now is the time to make sure you're getting all of your nutrients, all of your vitamins, beautiful soul, because we are what we eat. So make sure that you're eating foods that are energy generating, that give you energy, that make you feel alive versus foods that are making you feel sluggish and weighed down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Affirmations card deck, the Power Thought Cards by Louise L. Hay. Let's see what affirmation we have for this reading. Ooh, this has to do with body image, okay? Beautiful soul, now is the time to practice more self-love, okay? And love your body, your temple, for exactly how it is in this moment. Oftentimes, a lot of us can be very critical of our bodies because of how we're programmed in our society with all of the you know, celebrities that are on these magazine covers that have the same size and shape, okay, uniformly across the globe, okay, just know that we are all beautiful and perfect just the way we are. We are all unique pieces of the puzzle. It doesn't matter if we're if we're skinny, if we're fluffy, if we're medium sized, okay, or just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we are all beautiful and amazing just the way that we are. Beautiful soul, you are beautiful and amazing just the way that you are. So love all parts of yourself and let go of any body shaming. Let go of any uh, negative thoughts around your body, okay? And just go easy on yourself, all right? Because you are beautiful. You are beautiful just the way you are. And there's a really cool healing affirmation for body image on the back of this. It says, I create peacefulness in my mind and my body reflects this peacefulness as perfect health. I create peacefulness in my mind and my body reflects this peacefulness as perfect health. I create peacefulness in my mind and my body reflects this peacefulness as perfect health. Beautiful soul, what I have noticed is it's not the physical body so much that's attractive about an individual. It's an individual's energy. For me, I'm attracted to energy. If somebody's energy is beautiful and amazing and vibrant, that's what I look for. Okay, I don't know about you, but like that's what it comes down to for me is energy. How is somebody's energy? Then they appear to be beautiful and amazing to me. So I know for me, for instance, on the days that I go all out with my makeup and I go out of my way to dress up and spend hours getting ready, my energy isn't always the best when I do that. Sometimes it is, but there are other times where if my energy is low, I won't get that many compliments. But if there's a day that I'm being fiercely authentic and I just throw on a pair of jeans and a shirt, no makeup, but I'm feeling happy and super high vibe, those are the days I get the most compliments, the days that my hair is messy and I have no makeup. And I'm just being myself because my energy tends to just be higher because I'm being more authentic and real. So it's about your energy and how you feel, beautiful soul, okay? So uh, stop comparing yourself to other people. We need to stop being so competitive and just love ourselves for how we are in this moment, okay? I'm gonna draw one more card from the unicorn deck, feeling that we need another unicorn message. Let's see. Yes, now is a time to balance the polarities balance the yin and the yang energies balance the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies within you beautiful soul we all hold divine feminine and masculine energies within us the left side is the more receptive feminine side the right side is the more protective masculine side now is a time to balance nurturing receptivity and, and artistic creativity with you know getting things done and you know, doing and motion and physical fitness, okay? It's time to find a balance between that gentle receptive side and that dominant projective go, 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 go side. It's time to find a balance. And also to balance the shadow and the light within us, 
okay, the part of ourselves that we don't really want to look at, but that's there, and then the light part of ourselves, the part that we love, okay, and acknowledge and love all parts of ourselves, and to find balance. It says take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, and set boundaries with your work. Make sure that you're balancing rest with work, play with work, make sure you're getting enough sleep, make sure you're getting enough exercise, make sure you're eating right, make sure you're eating enough, Make sure that you're making time for play and fun in your life because life is meant to be enjoyed too, beautiful soul. It's not just work all the time. Make sure that you're also making time for a good laugh once in a while. Okay, so that is a beautiful reading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you some crystal infused Reiki energy healing. And to bring us back into balance, I'm going to go ahead and play the singing bowl. Beautiful soul, just take a few deep breaths and ground in this present moment right here with me. send you some crystal infused Reiki energy healing with this smoky quartz crystal point. Beautiful soul, just relax and let go. 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 Beautiful soul sending you crystal infused Reiki energy healing for your highest and greatest good and perfect comfort, harmony, balance, and alignment. Beautiful soul, you are safe. You are loved and you are appreciated. Going around your energy centers one by one. Cleansing, balancing and healing each of your chakra energy centers and helping to bring everything into balance. Helping to bring everything into balance. Helping to bring everything into balance. Beautiful soul going around the top of your head once more to balance the left and right hemispheres of your brain and to cleanse away any negative thought patterns that may be in your head at this time. Just know that you are safe, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You are safe, you are loved, and you are appreciate it. Now I'm going to use this pyrite crystal, which is very grounding, and send you some crystal infused Reiki energy healing with the intention of grounding you and helping you to attract more abundance in your everyday life. This pyrite is wonderful for helping you to manifest more abundance as well as to ground your energy field here in the 3D Earth Plane. Daikumiyo, 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 Chokure, 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 Seheki, 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 Honshe Zeshonne, Honshe Zeshonne, Honshe Zeshonne. Sending you love, sending you light, sending you healing. Sending you love, 
sending you light, sending you healing, sending you love, sending you light, sending you healing. Beautiful soul, just relax and gaze into this pyrite crystal for a moment. Take in all of the crystal healing frequencies, all of the geometric sequences contained within this crystal matrix. And just relax and feel your body grounding into the present moment, right here, right now. Just know that you are safe and you are secure, and you are loved, and you are healed, and you are well. Sending you infinite love and divine wisdom. Sending you infinite love and divine wisdom. Sending you infinite love and divine wisdom. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Now, beautiful soul. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in to this collective card reading, singing bowl meditation, and crystal infused Reiki energy and healing. I'm sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Have a wonderful, blessed day or evening wherever you are in the world at the time of this video. Namaste and much love.